Hey guys, back with a, another quick video on how to create stereo imaging out of a mono track using Studio One Release 2. I did a video on this for Mixcraft 5.2, but it is a little bit different in Studio One, actually easier to do. And I thought I'd put something up to uh, to show you. So here I've got a song with uh, acoustic track, um, and if you listen to this track, you'll hear it's really playing right in the middle. If you only knew, I'd sacrifice my beating heart. Okay, so everything's right in the middle of the mix, and I want to separate the acoustic out to give it some more width, so you could hear the you can hear the vocal better. Um, so there's a little trick to doing this, and what you can do is um, you can take your mono track, and what we'll do is we'll do a duplicate track with track events, so we'll get all that uh, instrument information on the track. Now I've got two acoustic tracks, okay? Uh, so the first thing I need to do, though, is I need to pan one to the left, and I need to pan one to the right, okay? Otherwise, they'd both still, still be in the middle, okay? And you can see here, I already have a bus created um, for acoustics, so I could have all my effects and et cetera on both of these tracks, um, which uh, just makes it a lot easier. I can control everything from one bus. Uh, so if you listen to it now, you would think that it would sound okay because I got it panned left and right. So let's give a listen. Only knew I'd sacrifice it's not working properly. Um, where it has, we're not finished, I should say. Even though it's panned left and right, in order to get that stereo imaging effect, you actually have to delay one of the tracks um, in order to, uh, you know, basically to shift it in time to give it that stereo effect. So what I'm going to do is take track two, open up the info for track two, and you'll see this delay um, feature right here, a window right here. So I'll select this track, okay? And what I'll actually do is I'll delay this to minus 18 milliseconds. What I'll do is as I'm, I'll solo, let me solo these, okay? And I'll play the acoustics so you can hear it it should separate as I as I start to as I do this. Just watch as I um, add delay to the to the uh, to the track here. So give a listen. You can hear it start to fade, go into the separate channels. It gets a little wider. Now it's pretty wide. 18 milliseconds is where I've generally found it to sound the best. Um, you can play with it; it might be different for different instruments, but you can, you know, you can certainly play with that. So let's close that down. Now the last thing is, um, let me put these these two volumes are at the same here. So if you listen to it, you might hear that one side is a little bit more dominant than the other. Sounds like it's you know it might be to the right a little bit, but you really ha what you can do is you can um, vary the volume on one of the sides to change where in the in the in the mix uh, the balance is for that acoustic. So that's really a, a, a your own judgment and based upon what other instruments are in the in the mix for the track itself. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, and now I've got everything right into into here. So. We can listen to it all together, and now you'll you'll hear that. Uh, and I probably have to do a little bit more mixing on this, but if you give a listen to this, you'll hear the vocals standing out much more, and the acoustics on the side. Give a listen. If you only knew, I'd sacrifice my beating heart before I lose. All right, so much more fuller you. sound. Vocals more present, less muddy in the middle. Um, quick trick. Now there's also, I've seen VST plugins, actually I have one down here called um, uh, for by uh, Veningo, and this is actually free. It's called Stereo Touch. Um, let me just bring that up on a track here. Okay. Stereo Touch, and this allows you to actually um, to do this, but it doesn't sound as good as uh, putting the delay on the track. I've tested both, and um, it just sounds better when you when you when you do that delay. So, but you may want to just check this out. It's uh, Voxingo, 
Uh, just do a search on Google, and you, these, this is actually a free VST plugin. Okay, so that's a quick tip on stereo imaging. Um, play with it; um, it's pretty cool. It just makes your mixes sound much better. And uh, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot.